Alright, good morning guys, YouTube people. Anyway, what I got going on today is I'm going to start <clears throat> re-drilling these holes. So, drilling a hole there, two holes there. Anyway. Uh, yep. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. So I'm going to do that and then uh, I'm probably going to drill out these these shock hangers. I guess you can call them. These shock mounts. Whatever you want to call them. And then uh, I'm going to try to move those back. So I'll have to drill that out right there. Move it back. Drill two new holes up top here. So those two right there. We'll probably go about right here, put a bolt in there, same over here. So these two right here will probably end up like probably right here. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm just going to do some drilling and stuff right now. Um, I want to get this done, the back end of this done. So when I put the bed on... Uh, I can mock up all that because I don't know what's going to clear with the bed, if it's going to clear, or how it's going to fit on here. So, uh, yeah, it's just less stuff to do. So, anyway, let me drill all these out. Um, put all the bolts in um, with the new nuts. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, let me do that and then uh, I'll show you the progress of what I've done in a little bit later. Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm going to try to add this clip somewhere in this video, but anyway. So I ended up cutting it and then welding it. So... That's my TIG welding skills, which is none. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, ended up uh, TIG welding that in there. I ended up cutting it. It's in there really, really nice. I'm much happier with that than having something hang down here. So anyway, all right, get back to the video. All right, guys. I'm back. Anyway, got all the holes drilled. So, and then all the grade 8 nuts are installed. Bolts, bolts, bolts. All the gold grade, grade 8 nuts are installed. All the way around. Bolts, nuts, nuts and bolts. So, I do have to go uh, I gotta do brakes on the wife's car. I gotta do front rotors. Um, so I gotta go... Oh, actually, I gotta take her car apart because I gotta bring the pads back. <sighs> Slacking. Slacking. Anyway. So I drilled all these out. All these. Anyway. I drilled the hangers out. So these are the rivets the rivet the rivet down there um and this is where they're gonna go so i'll have to drill a hole right here to under there so this was a little too long so i think in order to keep that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a spacer for inside here um probably about half inch three quarter inch spacer um that way it'll hold it because the only other way I could think is if I cut it up here all the way across and around and then take this piece off and then weld it up here um which I might actually end up doing might I might just end up cutting it here 
cutting it off here, taking this piece, putting it up here, and then welding it to here, just to make it look a little cleaner, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, so from the eyelet, the center of the eyelet, to the bottom of this here, straight down, it's 14 and a half inches over here, and vice versa. Same thing over here. So as you know, this one. So these are the, these are where the holes are going to be. These are these holes, or right here somewhere, or are right here on this bracket. Anyway, so from here down to there is 14 and a half inches, and I did bend this out. I bent it straighter. So the sledgehammer was there for. Um, and I only hit the rim once. So, only because uh, something fell and I didn't know what fell, and so I dropped the hammer mid swing. Um, yeah, and it's getting hot. It's supposed to be 100 degrees out here by noon. And that's Omaha time, so 9.34 out here. So, by noon, it's supposed to be hot. So, anyway, a lot of metal shavings. And I gotta say, man, these stupid, uh, these Harbor Freight drill bits, these Bauer drill bits, and this, I don't know, this is a great little buy here. I don't know how many times I gotta plug these little drill bits, but great, great little buy. So anyway, if you can see, these are grade 8s. These are all the grade 5s I took off and stuck them all on. Um, but yeah, so anyway... That's going to conclude this video until I get the, the bolts. Um, and uh, I'll probably just cut this real quick since I'm dirty. I'll cut that, fire up a welder, weld that back on to where it needs to be. And, uh, and do that and call it a day until the wife's brake pads and rotors get in. So I think the pads are supposed to be here at 9. So they're probably already there, they probably already called me. Um, but the rotors are supposed to be in by one or two. So, um, but yeah, I ended up ordering through AutoZone. Uh, those are AutoZone rotors. They've lasted, I don't know, four or five years. But when uh, she's just driving the car, the brakes get a, have a little bit of a warping. So I bought their premium street GT series rotors. They're a waved, you know, grooved rotor. Um, so, and then I have their ceramic pads or whatever. So hopefully those will work a little better. Um, I'll do a video on that too. Um, probably pulling it apart and putting it all together. So, uh, cross this off. I don't even know if you can see it. See my fat butt. Anyway, holes for hanger. That's done. Rear shock mounts are pretty much done. I just have to drill the holes and go get some bolts. Some bolts and nuts. Uh, I'm a, I'll probably just get grade 8. I'll probably just get the same bolts. The 716 bolts. Because I have a bunch of these nuts. So I'll just need uh, some flat washers and some... Bolts, lock washers, and uh, flat washers. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, guys, I'm uh, I'm gonna get that done real quick. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, click over here or down there to subscribe. Check out my boy One Anglin over here, and uh, watch my previous video over here. Um, but yeah, alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.